Are you gonna wait till we do the intro? All right, you're yeah, doing so good. Super Mega Ultra Lux. Hey everyone, welcome back to Harley Class Music. Yeah, it's her show now. Yeah. Yeah, it's her show. We uh, serve her. Yeah. No one else. Yes. If you don't like a dog, then don't watch our episode. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go ahead, leave. Yeah. Just leave right you're now. Get out of here. But anyways, we are your human host, Jason. I'm Sia. <laughs> And that's, and that's Harley. <laughs> On today's episode of Working Class Music, we are dealing with the Ultralux Jaguar. Is it the Ultra Instinct version of the Ultra lineup? That's a lot of Ultra. That was. Yeah. That was a little much. But it's pretty Ultra. Uh. So, as you know, it's 2022, and it is the 60th anniversary of the Jaguar. And what Fender did was they decided to release two variants. One, a modern variant, and the other one, a traditional variant. On today's episode, we are looking at the modern variant, which is the Ultralux Jaguar. But what makes this the Ultralux? A little bit about the Ultralux line. The Ultralux is like the Ultra Instinct transformation of the American Ultra lineup. It represents the highest quality and modern appointments in the Fender lineup. The Ultralux Jaguar features the augmented D neck shape with a 25.5 scale length for modern playability. The tapered neck heel allows easy access to the highest register and the Ultra rolled fingerboard edges allow for endless playing comfort. It has a 10 to 14 compound radius fingerboard with 22 stainless steel medium jumbo frets. Also, this isn't rosewood, it's ebony. This guitar is limited to 500 and is only available in Texas T. So, if you are a non-offset aficionado, you're probably wondering, what's the difference between this Jaguar and a traditional Jaguar? Aren't you, Harley? You're wondering that. That's exactly what she was wondering, look yeah. at her. Well, have I got a story for you. The 25.5 inch scale length is not typical of a Jaguar. It is a 24 inch scale length that's on a traditional Jaguar. Also on this one, you don't have the rhythm circuit. You do have what they call the double tap, which we'll get into that. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, is it a neck through and not a bolt on? I believe it is a bolt on. It is a bolt on. But you do have that contour. Yeah, that nice right, contour, yeah, that right nice the... ultra luxe contour. That's the difference. Obviously, the biggest difference is going to be the scale weight, but we'll discuss that afterwards. So, let's get ultra. On to the sale. drive. What are you using for drive? Using the limelight again. Okay. The limelight by Electronic Audio Experiments. Check it out. It's based on Touche Amore. Also, what's that amp you're using? Oh, well, you like Astro Boy? Doesn't matter. It's the Silk Tone Astro. <laughs> Like in the best way.
some drive. Add some drive. So back, uh, back from the uh, kind of uh, taking back sounds part of things. Um, yeah, it's a try. I had to get one dad joke in there. I didn't f dad rock on this, so you know, get one f dad joke. But anyways, language. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you so mad? Because <laughs> we did a dad rock. Oh my god. Yeah. Final thoughts and first impressions. <laughs> Funny story I've had. I went through. It better be funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Ha ha. It's funny. Oh, why did you do that? And you must have a lot of money, which I don't. So I just say it's funny. I want. Uh, I think I it's, it's to ironic. Laugh. I wanted funny. to laugh. <laughs> My story, funny or not. So when Xander initially ordered this, we went through three of them, not to find the right one, just to find one that works. <laughs> Dude, and that, uh, that QC. Yeah, the QC on. And I get it. It's five hundred. I get it, so I wanted to get that out of the way first. And I'm gonna do two mm -hmm. views. The first views is obviously, you know, this is on all the forums online and people are being overly negative because it's a non-traditional jazz master. And yeah, and they're forgetting that, <laughs> they're forgetting that, hey, they Fuck did a 60th it. anniversary. I they had two versions. Yeah, no, that's, and that's, that's my point. It's for you or it's not. <laughs> yeah, if it's non-traditional Jaguar, why are you looking at it? The one thing that I will give, it's kind of weird for me to say, is the scale length. I was like, the scale length does make a Jaguar to me. However, I prefer the 25.5, and I think it's cool. Like, I personally think that's fine. It's a Jaguar. You know, whether you like it at the end of the day or not, it's a Jaguar. Jam war. Jaguar. Jazz war. Yes. It's a Jaguar. What, what, what do Jaguars do, 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 poo? Jazz war, whatever. It's a Jaguar. That's what Fender's selling it as, and it's only 500 of them. Now, with that out of the way, I love it. I think it is awesome. If you're looking for a non traditional Jaguar, like the Ultra Lux line, if you can get your hands on one of those and you're willing to pay 2500 go for it. I think it is the best non-traditional Jaguar that we've had on this channel. Obviously, it blows the contemporary away, seeing as though that's the only we're, We've never done like a Fender. We've only done Squires. Well, yeah, we've of been, course, this thing is going to win. Yeah, of course, the $2,500. It's like having an adult man just coming in and beating a bunch of well, toddlers. But yeah, overall, it's a really awesome guitar. And like, I was kind of jealous because I went through a couple of them. And then like, after the QC issues, I was just like, yeah, I'm going to go with this American original Jazzmaster. I think it definitely definitely is the best Ultra Lux that I played in the entire lineup. Like the Ultra Lux Tele is nice, the Ultra Lux Strat is nice, but that, we didn't talk about it a lot, but the double tap humbucker, that is the best sounding split that I've heard. Like it sounds like a true single coil. Does it sound like a Strat or a Tele? Not so much, but you can hear the difference and you can tell that it doesn't suck. So yeah in a sense i think this is fender being more adventurous but you got to remember some folks are traditionalists and they don't want to be more adventurous i think if you're looking for a guitar that is modern in all ways comes with locking tuners as well this is the way to go i think it's the best non-traditional jaguar that i've played and if you're looking for that by all means go for it i think it's the best non-traditional offset that i've played the scale length, I love it. The pickups, I love it. The color, I love it. There isn't anything that I really dislike except for the price. For one of 500 made in America, it's acceptable. Yeah. My wallet may think differently, but it is acceptable. I will give this the Jaguar 60th anniversary seal of approval. Seems very specific. So personally, uh, this guitar is just hot garbage. You know, this sexy matching headstock, these wonderful pickups, just this wonderful Texas tea, garbage. It's all garbage. garbage. Hot garbage. Locking tuners, this neck <laughs> What's that, that is super, super easy to play. None of the frets are like cutting up my hand. <laughs> Rolled and edges. Even this like upper access, garbage, trash, throw it away in my room. No, like this thing is like sick. So yeah, definitely it's not for a purist. It's definitely for someone who wants something a bit different, like who wants some of the classic stylings with just like a modern twist 
you know? To me, it's kind of like the best of both worlds. Like you get the hot muckers that split, so you get both, a, you know, that really full rich and then also kind of like a bit of a jangly kind of yeah. sound. So this is killer. I mean, obviously the price tag is kind of steep, but I just wonder um, where the price is going to end up in about five years. Oh, we know where the price is going to end up in five years. I think this thing is probably going to be like at eight in five years. I wouldn't say eight, but I can definitely see that four. Yeah, I'd say four. Four is a bit more reasonable. This isn't for someone who wants a traditional Jaguar. It's phenomenal. I feel like there's really nothing I can say that Jason hasn't already said. It's versatile. The neck is super comfortable. It looks fantastic. Like if you ever have seen a Texas T Fender in person, it looks so much better. Like With on the camera- matching headstock. No, like on camera, we can only, you know, convey so much information through pixels. It's like that shade of brown that like you can't see until the lights on it. Yeah. Pretty much, yeah. yeah. It literally looks like oil. Yeah. Texas, yeah. Texas yeah. T is like the perfect yeah, but, yeah. description. So yeah, I'm going to keep it short. It's awesome. If you can get your hands on one good for you if not don't stress it just maybe save up your pennies you know for those who can't get one maybe we'll do an episode of turning a squire into an ultra lux let us know in the comments if that's something you would like to see yeah maybe upgrade some electronics yeah, some electronics some pickups which i should add those pickups you cannot get in any other. I know Fender does the double tap humbucker, but these are custom made for this guitar. So they are the custom double tap humbuckers. So just throwing that out there. All right, with all of that malarkey out of the way. You mean uh, all that jizz jazz? I was about to say right. that. <laughs> that's not a jizz jazz, that's Ugh. a jizz jag. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Ew, David. <laughs> This is a total boys club. Ew. <laughs> With that. <laughs> Links, affiliate, like, share, subscribe, Patreon, Sweetwater. Bye. Adios. Like on our uh, guitar circle, Drake, it's just gonna be photos of dudes on guitars. Like, oh my god! Uh, no, don't don't start that. Don't put that in their head. No.